we got a couple more boxes in from our GameStop order that we placed when they were doing that sale. So we have these loose cartridges here. We do not have cases for them, unfortunately. These two, and then all of these here were loose, but we did have cases for them. This one was a brand new game that we that we bought. Um, they had this on clearance for like $18, which I know it goes for a little bit more than that. It's not an expensive game, but it's one we've never had and it's a PS5 game and it was cheap, so why not? And then these ones all came with their cases, which is pretty cool. One of the, that Mario one there, the case is pretty gross. Um, the artwork is like water damaged and it's like really dirty. So we're probably not going to use that case, but um, there's all those. And then there was a Switch game somewhere. Don't know where it went, but it was another copy of uh, Hotline whatever, Miami or whatever, uh, that one came loose as well. I'm about to leave for the night and I'm probably gonna have Jesse insert this clip somewhere earlier in the video, uh, cause I wanted to mention a couple things real quick. You might've noticed that some of the videos have been going up at different times. So the schedule is pretty much the same. It's just shifted ahead one day. Um, we are trying to get the videos up by 2 p.m. our time, Pacific time, which is normally what we do, but uh, we're kind of, we're, we're trying to stick to that, but I'd rather have a daily schedule instead of a daily schedule with an actual time frame as well. So while we try to get the videos up by two, there are gonna be some days where they're a little bit later. So just so you guys know, um, you know, things might change uh, soon here because we are going to be opening uh, six days a week at the store instead of five. And we're planning on shifting the schedule a little bit to just make the videos better. But we'll talk about that a little bit more once we get to that. Uh, but for now, uh, regular vlogs are going up Saturday through Wednesday. So we've gotten some new plushies today, which would be these ones. We put them on this end cap here. There used to be Animal Crossing ones here, uh, but they didn't really move. But they used to be over there. And they, they've never, never sell because they were so far away from the other, other plushies. But now they're a little bit closer and Sonic's eye catching enough that I think they'll do good good here. There's also these keychain ones and they're all keychained to the grid. Uh, I was gonna just put them on hooks, but since it's right next to the door, we wanted to make it a little more secure. But these backpacks are awesome. I don't think they really hold much, but also we did the plush wall a little bit. Didn't completely do it, redo it, but try to put the colors with the matching colors. We're trying to keep it uh, RGB. And I, we did most of the bottom ones because those were a complete mess because people were just toss them back in there. So probably won't stay this good looking, but it looks decent right now. Hi everybody, long time no see. I am here with my staff pick, which is Candle, The Power of the Flame. A big reason why I ended up even playing this game in the first place is because the game artwork was inspired by uh, a very famous artist whose name is Hieronymus Bosch. He was a Dutch painter uh, that is very well known for painting some very strange art pieces. Definitely take a look at his artwork. Um, in this game, they use a lot of his artwork or the likeness of it anyways, which is what drew, uh, really drew me to this game without even looking at gameplay. Uh, one of his most famous artworks was a man bird eating people. And that's actually uh, one of the villains in this game. So you play as a little guy who has a candle hand and his flame is very important. It can't be blown out or he can be killed. It is a uh, side-scrolling platformer puzzle game. The gameplay is pretty short, but you play as him. He is trying to rescue his tribe's shaman. He seems to be the last of his kind, but it's not quite the case. And you work through there, you're gonna rescue other of, I don't really know what he is, other creatures like him. And you go through, it's a lot of fun. The game is really uh, colorful in a way. And also I would say that the music is really, really good. I don't wanna to ruin too much because I'm afraid that I will do that because the game is such a short one, but it is a lot of fun, great to play with another person. And if you are art buff, you will enjoy it. What, what, what is all that? Deuced bunnies. Deuced? Deuced bunnies. Watch it's your language. Bears. Deuced boonies. 
the wondrous days of retail. Especially resale retail. Yeah, why am I doing this? I don't know. You have like 20 employees. Might as well ask one from the group. I wish we had 20. Adam, come here. I have a mini question of the day for you. Is this ugly or not? I personally don't like it, but I mean, if you're like a Naruto fan or something. Naruto? No, Naru Naruto? 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 Cult or er, Kyle, excuse me. Wow. Ugly or not? I agree. I hate it, but I think you like you if you love orange and you love blue. It's right in your face. But yeah. I don't think it's that You'll good. never lose it. They're actually contrasting colors. <laughs> Colton was like, is that Goku? I was like, no. Yeah, it's definitely an anime fans controller right here. Go who? Goku. Wow. Go on. I really want to watch the new Dragon Ball Super movie. Ooh. Apparently it's really good. All right, guys, we have one package of three that are coming from a store in Canada called Video Game Trader. We have purchased from them every year on Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas in Canada. It's kind of like a Black Friday thing. So they have some awesome sales going on. And this is the only box that arrived today. So the other ones will be unboxing in future vlogs. One looks like it should be delivered tomorrow from the tracking insane how expensive this thing got i bought this when i started like collecting like got serious about collecting in like 2019 or something and this would be like 60 bucks still yeah that one now. that one said damaged box yeah, and it is it's like is it pushed in there and then the plastic there <clears throat> otherwise it's actually pretty nice so you can ignore the tags because not only were they on sale, but they're also in Canadian dollars. So we should have this stuff in the system and on our website by the time you guys see this video. So we have Emperor's New Groove for PS1. Oh, there's actually two copies. Need PS1 games. And F1 World Grand Prix. And Scars. Let's try to save like some of the really expensive stuff for the end. We have Pokemon Rumble Blast and Advanced Guardian Heroes. Killer Instinct Gold. <laughs> Look at these little bundles of Game Boy Advance games. I like that. <laughs> we should do that for our game. And another gold. I guess I, I'm not going to show you duplicates. If they're duplicates, I'm not going to. We have Booze Fury and Tactics Ogre. And we might. Do we sell that box for Tactics Ogre? We might. So we might be able to complete that one. There are a lot of duplicates, so I will say any game that I was purchasing, if they had duplicates, I got all of them. All right. Uh, De Fighters Destiny. Awesome. Pokemon Snap. And Robotron 54. Metabots Metabee and Shining Soul 2. Another Boo's Fury and Zoid's Legacy. Uh, Warp Speed for Super Nintendo. And then Lamborghini American Challenge. Hey, punk, are you tough enough? I've never seen that one. <laughs> the Brains and <clears throat> Frantic Fleet. The Brains? The Brainies. Oh, sorry, the Brainies. <laughs> Goal Storm, long box for PS1. Ah, I hate the long box. No. No one ever buys them. I love them. I started putting them in the mystery boxes. Nobody buys them because we have like all the really common ones. They're also all like destroyed. Super Bonk and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Killer Instinct Gold, Robotron 64, Fighter's Destiny, and Bust a Move 99. <laughs> Bust. Super Mario All Stars. Um, three more Robotrons <laughs> and a Carmageddon 64 with a ripped label. We gotta hurry. <laughs> GameCube. Uh. Three copies of Geist. Clean. Sonic DX. Nice. <laughs> Two more copies of Sonic DX. Sorry, I lied. Star Fox Adventures. Whole copies of Geist. Turtles 3 for the GameCube. Sonic Gems Collection. This game is amazing. Little King Story. 
Adam should buy this one if he doesn't have it because this yeah, game is I'm freaking gonna awesome. It in my pile. Go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies of Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 2 for the week. <laughs> and Black Ops 2. And last ones here. We have two copies of Maxi 15 for the NES. Pretty rare. Two copies of Luminous Arc for the DS. We have Motor City Patrol for the NES. Pretty rare game. It's in a box Why don't they put the sticker on the box? I don't know. Gemfire for the NES. Pretty rare game, but the rarest one of the bunch Ooh. for the first box, Zombie Nation for the NES. I have a hungry yeah. Ooh. In very nice condition as well. So shout out to Video Game Trader. Their website is videogametrader.ca. They of course ship to the US, but you do have to figure out what the what the conversion is because they don't have a, a thing to switch it to USD if you're in the United States. So you have to do that manually, but this is awesome. And we should have two more boxes coming from them very soon. We got a pretty big shipment here of Switch games from one of our distributors. Uh, most of these are games we have not had before. Some of them we probably have. We're not putting the stickers on these just yet because we're out of the little poly bags we put them in. They have been ordered and they've already been shipped, so they should be here in just a couple days. But here's all the tags. They are on the website. They are between $20 and $40 each, brand new. Only a couple of them are $20. Uh, most of them are $34.99. But I'm just going to go through like this. There are duplicates of all of them as well. Try not to just order, you know, one of each game. But if any of these end up being really popular and they are selling out quickly or anything like that, we can always order more. Moonlighter is the best game in here. You guys should definitely check that game out if you have not played it. It is super, super fun. Abby and I both played it and loved it. But there they are. All right, check it out, guys. Trades. Do, do you want me to get closer? You do? Okay. Let's start over here. Of course, we've got our Assassin's Creed, Metal Gear Solid, and Halo for the Xbox. Come over here. My girlfriend has actually been playing the Jedi Fallen Order game, and not only does it look so nice, but the characters are, like, vibrant, and it's just, it's just really nice to watch her play it. Uh... We got Temtem, which is kind of a Pokemon clone, uh, MMO, so you have to be online to play it. This is um, Teenage Mugent, Mugent Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it's all about confidence. Say it confidently, and it doesn't matter if you're wrong. Super Star Wars. You might notice that some of the tags have like numbers on them. That's just the way that we categorize uh, what things have manuals or boxes and games. Oh, I didn't know we got this in. That's nice. The box is pretty beat up, but you know, I mean, it's pretty rare to find not beat up boxes from well, really, any era older than, like, 2010. We've got an elusive Game Boy Player disc, along with his partner, the bass. Oh yeah, um, the this copy of the uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has the soundtrack in there. I just, okay, I'm sorry, I have to show you. I love the way that this looks. Because it's just, you open it up, you've got the black and then the just vibrant gold disc. I listened to this over and over when I got my copy. This usually comes in a box with the um, gold Wii Plus controller, um, but now we have it here. Yeah, there, okay. The Punisher, that's a comic book hero. I'm sure you guys already knew that. And then we've got a Super Nintendo classic, some VHSs, The Blair Witch Project, and The Island of Dr. Moreau. 
Resident Evil Outbreak. And then this guy. It's a pretty old fig. Um, <laughs> graphic design is my passion. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, spoiler alert, this guy is uh, the main character, Squall. His dad, it's his dad. Um, you meet him like a flashback and he's a little bit of an idiot. Uh, you wouldn't think so, like looking at him, you'd be like, wow, he's cool, he's got dog tags. Look, he's got dog tags. Nope, he's a moron. We love our stupid characters though, don't we? Okay, I think that's everything. Um, thanks for trading with us. Replacing some sticks. Yeah, yeah. these were the old sticks. Very smooth, worn down. These are the new ones. Nice, these ones actually don't look bad. They just look weird. Yeah, I think that it was originally not, didn't have the bumps here, but. Yeah. Those almost look like they may have already been replaced on those are like yeah, aftermarket was, ones. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. And there are some game or Xbox controllers PS5 that come with this type of joystick top, but most of them like OEM ones, because this is a special edition, the yeah. Modern Warfare 3 one. Yeah. Um, it might have come with these ones originally, but we don't have this one to replace them with. That one? I mean, that one looks different from that one. I think it's just more worn. Like this is like, it's like slanted almost. Hmm. It's weird. Well, either way, it's gonna look a lot better with this. Yeah, and I cleaned it and all that, so. Did this console come in today? Yes. Yeah. I okay. already put it out. Yeah, we didn't film that one, but it's the, oh it's the Modern Warfare 3. Three. Let's go look at it. We don't show a lot of the consoles because we get so many all the time, but it's that one right there. It's beautiful. God dang it, Jack. You bought both of these guitars, and now I have to ship them. Ugh. I don't even have a box that's long enough for them. And what sucks is that these, since these are the PS2 guitars, they, the necks don't come off like they do with the later guitars. So, you know, the later guitars, I could fit in this box because the, the necks come off and you can break them down a little bit. But these ones can't really take them apart. So now I'm going to have to make a box. And that is never fun. So this was a trade-in from myself, Adam. Um, it's um, some little bits and bobs from my collection that I I always try to slim it down in places that I does that it doesn't matter. Um, so GeForce, I don't care about that game. Obviously, it's GeForce. I just thought it'd be funny to play, and I still kind of want to play it. Maybe, maybe we'll put in some footage of me playing this later in the vlog. Um, cause it, <laughs> I know it's G-Force. <laughs> but look, you're a freaking hamster with a blaster and you're like the size of, like I love stuff that's like the perspective of something small, smaller than life. Um, cause it's, you know, it's, it's a perspective, perspective that we don't experience ourselves. So I find it fascinating and it's just like a cool, is it a subgenre? Would you call that? Anyways, uh, Warhammer, I've actually heard this is pretty good, I don't, although I, I would assume it doesn't run too well on the Switch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, some super rare games. I'm pretty sure I broke even or lost money on these ones. I, for a while, I was going to collect like all of them, but they put out too many, and too many of their stuff is too niche for me. Uh, so, and this one I have the double pack that comes with both of them. So, I think I actually ordered that or something. I don't know. And then these, uh, Scott the Waz did a, well, an episode on these, the game, the Code in a Box. Uh, as collectors, uh, you know, it sucks. I mean, for Chess Ultra and Pure Pool, it doesn't really matter. But there have been better games um, that have got this treatment. I uh, gave one of them to Abby, or traded one of them to Abby, because uh, she wanted it. And I think one of the Worms games, uh, published by Team 17, got this treatment. And also, what's interesting, I saw I'm going on, uh, this is a few amount of items, but there's a lot of information here. Because um, now, Older releases from that came out when the Switch released, like Lego City Undercover, 
in other cheaper titles that have got price drops down to like 20 bucks, they're being re-released as game, as codes and boxes. Um, it's much less of, it costs, it obviously costs them less, so it's less of a risk for the companies to do this and they make more money. Um, it sucks and hopefully this doesn't become too big of a thing with important games. Uh, and these have gone up in value because what happens is they don't sell well because it's a game in a box, a code in a box, and then the retailers clearance them out, which is how I got them. I got them last year, Black Friday, I think. And I got them for like five bucks and they were, they've gone back up in value because no one sells them anymore. Uh, Axiom Verge. This also I was sad about because this summer we got a copy in and sold it for $300 brand new. And it's down to around 200 to 250. We priced it somewhere near the middle, uh, closer to the lower end. Um, but yeah, this has gone down in value. I assume because Limited Run did a printing of this um, for Switch and it has a one two double pack. Um, I would assume that's part of the reason it's gone down in value. Um, but yeah, I wish I would have sold it this summer because I could have got more money I missed some random toys here that I got. I think I got these for like a, a white elephant thing at Christmas. And the Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Fun Edition, which is actually super cool, but it takes up all the room in your room. So, yeah, but it has these art cards, a sticker sheet, socks, and then the three very good quality, very nice statues, and these awesome tiki's key rings. Everything in here is brand new. It is in as brown. I believe the listing does say everything inside is sealed. That is accurate. It came from my collection. It's in pristine condition. I had a couple copy of these, uh, copies of these and ended up with the best quality one. And it's in great condition. So if you're a huge SpongeBob fan, that's probably for you. Question of the day time. And my question for you guys is, is there a scene from a game or a movie or a series where you can recite it line for line, all the way down, the exact inflections, everything? And I'm not talking about like a movie quote that you like or anything like that. I mean, a whole scene. Earlier today, I was just thinking about the part of Emperor's New Groove where Yzma talks about turning him into a flea, a harmless little flea. And then it put that flea into a box, etc. Uh, What can you do? <laughs> All right, so I'm not very proud of this, but I can recite lots of Family Guy episodes because when I was 16, I bought a DVD and just played that on repeat. And it was the uh, murder mystery in, in James Woods' mansion. That's a good episode. Yeah, it was. I like that one. <laughs> Called and watched it to death. That's the first episode where they went from this to this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. that's a Family Guy quote. So, my answer is the South Park movie, because when I was growing up, um, that was one of the only movies I owned, and I would watch it every single day after school, and I've seen it over a hundred times. Like, I would literally just, like, come home from school and put the movie on, and I would just watch it. I don't know why. I don't know why I was obsessed with that movie, but there's so many parts of that movie where I could just, like, recite word for word. So I'm gonna kind of steal Colton's answer because I can also recite a lot of Family Guy stuff and American Dad, but for a movie, it is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I've always liked that movie, watched it as a kid, I watched it a ton, but there was a point in high school where every night when I would go to bed, I would put that movie on and I would fall asleep to it. And I did that for two, two to three weeks straight, every single night. I never watched the whole movie because I was going to bed, but I can recite pretty much the whole movie. So, growing up, we didn't really have cable most of my younger childhood. Um, so I watched a lot of like Frasier and a lot of just like 2000s and before that sitcoms, 1990s sitcoms. So a lot of those I have like a lot of that line memorized. Um, side note, there's a super good episode of Frasier where there's like no talking at all until like halfway through. That episode's really good. I can reset the first half of that one. What? Yeah. Um, but my main answer would be Iron Man 3 because that's my 
probably my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, some people don't like it, but um, I saw that like three or four times in theaters. Not like on purpose, it just like ended up happening. Like other people wanted to see it and like I just went with them. But yeah, I've like most of that movie memorized. Finishing touch to the new repair station. It's beautiful. Is that a furry? Uh, no.